All right, welcome back to the channel, Immaculate Wealth, where we teach you a wealth mindset. So networking for beginners, building relationships that boost your career. Networking is often called the hidden job market, and for good reason. Many of the best opportunities aren't advertised. They're filled through personal connections. Today, we're breaking down how to build and leverage these critical relationships to boost your career. So here's why networking matters. Up to 80% of jobs are filled through networking, not job listings. Strong professional relationships can lead to mentorship, advice, and insider knowledge. A diverse network can open doors to unexpected opportunities and career paths. Networking skills translate to better communication and relationship building in all areas of your career. In this video, you'll learn how to start networking even if you're shy or introverted, strategies for making meaningful connections at events and online, ways to maintain and nurture your professional relationships over time, how to leverage your network for career growth without feeling pushy. By the end of this video, you'll have practical knowledge to start building a network that can boost your career for years to come. All right, let's begin. The basics of networking. Let's start with the fundamentals of networking. At its core, networking is about building mutually beneficial relationships. It's not just collecting business cards or LinkedIn connections. It's about creating genuine connections with people. Key principles of effective networking. Give before you take. Always look for ways to help others. This could be sharing an interesting article, making an introduction, or offering your skills. When you consistently add value, people are more likely to help you in return. Number two, be authentic. Don't try to be someone you're not. People can sense insincerity. Instead, be genuine in your interactions. Share your real interests and passions. This makes you more memorable and relatable. Listen more than you talk. Good networkers are great listeners. Show genuine interest in others by asking thoughtful questions and really listening to the answers. This helps you understand how you might be able to help them, and it makes people feel valued. It's like why we have, most people have two ears and one mouth, right? The follow-up. Meeting someone once isn't enough to build a relationship. Follow up after initial meetings with a simple email or message. Reference something specific from your conversation to show you were paying attention. Be consistent. Networking isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. Regularly reach out to your contacts, not just when you need something. Quality over quantity. It's better to have a smaller network of strong, genuine connections than a large network of superficial ones. Focus on building meaningful relationships rather than collecting contacts. Remember, networking is a skill that improves with practice. Don't be discouraged if it feels awkward at first. Even experienced professionals sometimes feel nervous when networking. The key is to start small, be consistent, and focus on building genuine relationships rather than just advancing your own interests. Networking events and conferences. Events and conferences 
provide excellent opportunities to expand your network. Here's how to make the most of these situations. Prepare in advance. Research the event and attendees if possible. Prepare a brief, encouraging, or engaging introduction about yourself, often called an elevator pitch. Set goals for the event. Meet three new people in your industry, for example. Arrive early. It's often easier to start conversations when the room isn't too crowded. You can meet other early arrivers who might also be looking to network. Start conversations. Look for people standing alone. They're often relieved when someone approaches them. Use open-ended questions like, what brings you to this event? Or, what's been your favorite part so far? Join group conversations. Approach groups with open body language, people facing outward. Listen first, then contribute to the conversation when appropriate. Use the event to your advantage. Discuss the speakers, the venue, or the food as conversation starters. Attend breakout sessions or workshops. They're great for meeting people with similar interests. Exchange contact information. Ask for business cards or connect on LinkedIn before parting ways. Make a note on the card about where you met and what you discussed. Follow up after the event. Send a quick email within 24 to 48 hours referencing your conversation. Suggest continuing the conversation over coffee if you'd like to build the relationship further. Manage your time. Don't spend the entire event with people you already know. It's okay to politely excuse yourself from a conversation to meet others. I'm hoping you're writing these down. If you're not, you can rewind. All right, remember the goal is to start relationships, not close deals. Focus on making genuine connections rather than trying to sell yourself or your services. Be interested in others, and they'll likely be interested in you. Online networking strategies. In today's digital age, online networking is just as important as in-person connections. Here's how to effectively network online. Optimize your LinkedIn profile. Use a professional photo. Write a compelling headline and summary. Detail your experiences and skills. Request recommendations from colleagues and supervisors. Engage actively on LinkedIn. Share relevant articles and insights. Comment thoughtfully on others' posts. Participate in industry-specific groups. Use LinkedIn's Your Network feature to stay updated on your connections, career moves. Use Twitter for professional networking. Follow industry leaders and companies. Share and comment on industry news. Participate in Twitter chats related to your field. Use relevant hashtags to increase visibility. Join online professional communities. Look for forums or Slack channels in your industry. Participate in discussions, offering help when you can. Share your expertise, but avoid self-promotion. Attend virtual events and webinars. Participate actively in Q&A sessions. Connect with speakers and other attendees afterwards. Share your takeaways on social media, tagging the event or speakers. Create content. Share a blog or write articles on LinkedIn. Share your knowledge and experiences. This positions you as knowledgeable in your field and can attract connections. Reach out directly. 
Send personalized connection request on LinkedIn. Mention shared interest or mutual connections. Ask for brief informational inf interviews with people in roles you aspire to. Maintain online relationships. Regularly interact with your online network. Congratulate connections on achievements. Share articles or opportunities that might interest them. Be consistent and patient. Online networking takes time to yield results. Post and engage regularly, but don't spam. Focus on building genuine relationships, not just growing your follower count. Remember, your online presence is an extension of your professional self. Always maintain a professional tone and be mindful of what you share. Online networking can open doors to opportunities worldwide. So make the most of these platforms to expand your profess professional reach. Maintaining and nurturing your network. Building a network is just the first step. The real value comes from maintaining and nurturing these relationships over time. Here's how to keep your network strong and active. Stay in touch regularly. Set reminders to check in with contacts every few months. Share updates about your career or industry or interesting industry news. Congratulate them on achievements or work anniversaries. Offer value consistently. Share job openings that might interest your contacts. Pass along relevant articles or resources. Make introductions between contacts who could benefit from knowing each other. Be a resource. Offer your skills or knowledge when someone in your network needs help. Volunteer to be a reference for a connection applying for a job. Provide honest feedback or advice when asked. Attend industry events. Reconnect with contacts at conferences or meetups. Introduce your connections to each other at these events. Use social media wisely. Engage with your contacts. Post on LinkedIn or Twitter. X. Share or comment on their professional achievements. Schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings. Arrange coffee meetings or virtual catch-ups with key contacts. Use these meetings to discuss career goals, industry trends, or potential collaborations. Remember personal details. Keep notes on important aspects of your contacts' lives. Follow up on personal matters they've shared with you previously. Be genuine and authentic. Don't reach out only when you need something. Show real interest in your contacts' lives and careers. Express gratitude. Thank people who help you or provide valuable advice. Acknowledge how their support has impacted your career. Keep your promises. If you offer to make an introduction or share a resource, follow through rel reliability builds trust and strengthens relationships. Be patient. Build strong relationships. Building strong relationships takes time. Don't expect immediate results from every interaction. Evolve your network. As your career progresses, ensure your network evolves too. Continuously seek to connect with people who inspire and challenge you. Remember, the strongest networks are built on mutual benefit and genuine relationships. It's not about keeping score but about creating a community of professionals who support each other's growth and success. Levering, leveraging your network for career opportunities. Now that you've built and nurtured your network, 
let's discuss how to effectively leverage these relationships for career growth and opportunities. Be clear about your goals. Clearly communicate your career objectives to your network. Be specific about the type of role, industry, or company you're interested in. Ask for introductions. If you're interested in a company, ask if anyone in your network has connections there. Request warm introductions to hiring managers or team leaders. Never mind the beep. All right. Seek informational interviews. Ask contacts for short meetings to learn about their company or role. Use these con conversations to gain insights and potentially uncover opportunities. Utilize your LinkedIn network. Check who in your network works at companies you're interested in. Use LinkedIn's Ask for a Referral feature when applying for jobs. Attend industry events with purpose. Go to events where you're likely to meet people from target companies. Prepare questions about their hiring processes or upcom upcoming opportunities. Offer value in return. When asking for help, always consider how you can assist them in return. Reciprocity strengthens relationships and makes people more likely to help you. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Sometimes the best opportunities come from unexpected connections. Be open to exploring roles or industries you hadn't previously considered. Use your network for interview preparation. Reach out to contacts in similar roles for advice. Ask for insider knowledge about company culture or interview process. Keep your network updated. Let your contacts know when you're actively job searching. Update them on your progress and any new skills you've acquired. Don't be afraid to follow up. If a contact mentions a potential opportunity, it's okay to politely follow up. Be respectful of their time, but don't let opportunities slip away. Express gratitude. Always thank people who help you in your job search. Let them know the result, whether you get the job or not. Pay it forward. Once you've found success, be willing to help others in your network. Offer to be a referral or provide advice to those still job searching. Remember, leveraging your network isn't about using people. It's about tapping into a community of professionals who support each other. Always approach networking with a mindset of mutual benefit and genuine relationship building. By effectively leveraging your network, you can uncover hidden opportunities, get insider information, and potentially fast-track your career growth. However, always maintain professionalism and respect for others' time and efforts. All right, that brings us to the close of this video. Remember, building a strong Professional network is a lifelong process. Start small, be consistent, and focus on creating genuine connections. With time and practice, you'll develop a network that not only boosts your career, but also enriches your professional life in countless ways. Thanks for watching. Here's to your network success. This is Immaculate Wealth. I'm James, and we'll see you in the next video.